Hi, I'm Credit from AppRaters marketing team and today's lesson is about app ratings and reviews. First, we're going to look at why app ratings and reviews are so important and then we're going to talk about how you can actually use them for increasing your app downloads. App ratings and reviews is basically user feedback that is available publicly on your app store listing. Ratings are given on one to five star scale and reviews are written in free form. Both of the app stores, Apple and Google, show on your app store listing an average rating. They are not completely transparent how this is calculated, but we do know that until 2019, Google's rating was giving the same weight to all of the user ratings that you have ever received. However, since 2019, they have changed this and now the more recent ratings and reviews are getting more weight than the older ones. Ratings for Apple App Store function pretty much the same way. However, there is one major difference and that is you can ask your app rating to be reset. So literally when you feel like the rating that you're currently having is not accurately saying how good or bad your app actually is, you can ask this to be reset, you can start from the scratch and you can do this even for one specific territory. However, do bear in mind that app reviews do not get deleted. They are sort of there forever with you. One more thing to notice is that Google and Apple highlight some reviews more than the others. In case of Google Play Store, it's the most positive review that you have received and the most negative one. In case of Apple App Store, it's six randomly selected reviews from your App Store listing. So let's talk now about why App Store ratings and reviews are so important. Long story short, you need a lot of positive ratings and reviews. And I'm gonna tell you right away the main reasons why that's the case. Let's start with the most obvious ones. Point one, App Store algorithms. App Store algorithms. Now, why this is important? Well, like any other commerce platform, also app stores wanna offer the products and services that are really good, right? And what else tells that your app or game is excellent than users giving positive feedback about it? So basically, when you have a user base who goes out there and tells everybody that your app or game is amazing, then this is the best kind of marketing or branding that you can have. At the same time, when there's a lot of negative feedback given, this is kind of the worst case scenario and you have a lot of damage control to be done. Point two, user decision making. Decision making. So, we are living in the year 2021. It's very usual that all the users, all the buyers out there are checking reviews and ratings for various products and services before they buy it. And the same thing applies to app stores logically. Studies even say that 79% of people check at least one rating or review before they decide to download the app. So it's super important that you have the positive feedback out there so that new users actually are gonna go and download your app. Point three, branding. Your app branding. How you reply to your user reviews shows how you communicate with your users. Are you actually being friendly and do you show that you care about your users problems challenges or are you just saying thank you for the positive feedback that they're giving to you this tells a lot about your branding and let's face it app store listing is your storefront towards millions of shop visitors so of course you want to have your branding in place source of user data source of user data you see very often app ratings and reviews are considered as a support team's task because they have to answer the negative feedback mostly if that's the case. However, if you start using it as a marketing team's knowledge base, then this can be really, really beneficial. For example, app reviews can highlight bugs. I mean, literally you will have users coming to the app store and telling you what's wrong with your app. So you should definitely take use of that. Point two, it can also give you feature ideas. 
So this is both meant for marketing teams, but also product teams. Uh, and nothing better than implementing feature ideas from your user base into your app development roadmap. I mean, you're building your app or game for your audience, not for yourself, right? And point three, building a dialogue. This is the most obvious one, of course, but simply not done often enough. App stores are the place where users are telling you what they think about your app or game. And this is the place where you can thank them, where you can start a dialogue, direct them towards your community, etc. So just talk with them. Point five, keyword ideas. Yes, also in this video, we cannot get around keywords because they are just simply the basis of app store optimization. If you want to rank high in app stores, you need to use the search terms that your users are actually using. And user reviews is a perfect place where to see how people talk about your app. What kind of words are they using? What are they highlighting? So those are the words that you should take, implement into your keyword strategy, into your app store listings, and the chances are that you're going to be ranking way much higher thanks to that. Point six is competitors. And this is something that I personally especially like because spying on your competitors is not always that easy to be done but with app store listings it's publicly available you can literally see what the users are saying about your competitors so the same way as you can see it for yourself you can also see it for the others and you should definitely implement this into your market research and every now and then go and check what are the users saying about your competitors what are they highlighting as a really good thing Maybe this is something that you can also implement into your app development roadmap. Or what is it that they're saying as a very bad thing? Because chances are, this is your competitive advantage. And this is something that makes you better than your competitors. So you should be more using it in your app store listing as well as in your advertising. Point seven, localization. Now, chances are this is something that you have not considered before. But it's actually app reviews are a really good place where you can see how people around the world are feeling and thinking about your app or game. Well, let's say, for example, that your primary language is English and most of the reviews that you are focusing on are in English. But what about the ones that are in German or the ones that are, for example, in Finnish? You should definitely translate them and see what people in those regions are also saying because maybe they have a different kind of perception of your app, maybe they like different kind of things. The chances are that the cultural differences are having an effect also on your app and game downloads. And this is why it's so important to also focus on your app localization. And no better way to start as looking what the users from various regions are actually saying about your app already. Now as a final topic, let's talk about how to improve your app store ratings and reviews. Well, there's three potential things that I can think of. Number one, ask your app users for reviews. I know this might feel a bit like uncomfortable and awkward in the beginning, but there's no way around it, to be honest, because you always want to have more ratings, more reviews, and therefore you need to ask your users. So just set up a push notification or create a pop-up that is triggered when, for example, your user is having a really good moment inside your app. I mean, this is one of the best strategies when to ask for a review because a happy user will also give positive feedback, right? Point two, how to improve your app store ratings is pretty obvious. Do frequent app store updates. It's simple because you want your ratings and reviews to be reflecting on the recent fixes and improvements for your app or game that you have been doing. But it's also important because like mentioned earlier, the latest user ratings and reviews are getting higher rank, higher weight by app store algorithms than the older ones. So this is another way for you to boost the rating way much faster. And point three, how to improve your app rating is pretty obvious. It's about replying, replying, and one more time replying to your user reviews. If you don't believe me, then at least believe Google who has said that developers who reply to their user reviews have increased their star rating by 0.7 points. So that means that if you are currently having a star rating of three, you could make it to 3.7 just thanks to replying to user reviews. And to highlight that even more, if you currently have a star rating of two and you are able to jump it to rating three, then you can increase your conversion rate up to three times, which is a huge major difference for your app store downloads. 
So to sum up today's lesson, we can all agree that app ratings and reviews are really, really important for getting more visibility in app stores and to get more app downloads. If you want to have more information about app store marketing in general, do check out our academy or just surf around on our YouTube channel. We've got a lot of free educational material available for you. And you will be seeing me next time.